Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. It has been a bitterly cold week with daytime temperatures struggling just to get above zero for a couple of days this past week. Bone chilling for most of us, but perfect winter weather for ice sculptors and artisans who are creating frozen ice castles and palaces in the Adirondacks. More than 100 volunteers have been working this week in the freezing cold, sawing the huge blocks of ice from late flower that are used to construct the ice palace that's the centerpiece of the yearly Saranac Lake Winter Carnival. The, the theme being 1980, we're trying to uh, go back to the 80s palaces, so lots of round towers, domes, uh, maybe a, a walk, an elevated walkway, as big as we can get, right? <laughs> I've been dreaming about working with ice for years. John Rockwell, who came all the way from Saratoga Springs to volunteer to help build the Ice Palace, learned all about the history of the Winter Carnival when he watched Mark Burns' film released a couple of years ago, Ice Palace, A Love Letter. I saw the movie about two years ago, three years ago, and it's something I've always wanted to do. And it's so much fun to be involved in this. Uh, why not? I love the cold weather and the first day, first two days was the ultimate challenge. It was so satisfying to be out here in the sun, fresh air, great people. You can watch the interview we did with Mark Burns, the filmmaker, on our website. And my wife and I would come up for Carnival. We came up for, you know, 2013, 14, 15. Um, for parade day and, and she turned to me and she said this is so wild I just I don't think people know about this you should make a film and and I thought and right there that it just clicked last year the winter carnival was scaled back due to the coronavirus pandemic the ice palace was built and opening and closing fireworks were held but all the other events were put on hold this year plans are for the 10-day winter carnival to return in full from February 4th to the 13th two parades, three sets of fireworks, and more. You can find info and that link to our interview with the filmmaker Mark Burns at mountainlake.org. 